Thank for having number two. This video is important. I'm also going on Facebook Live. So, first I'm starting here, so they'll have to play catch up. And I'll probably post it there too. Alright. So, this video is important mostly to me. So just watch it and bear with it. Okay. Alright, Facebookers and Kung Fu Havoc Live is like a couple of seconds ahead of y'all and there will be a couple of seconds longer than y'all. So I keep this basic. First, I want to put a shout out to uh, my boy Courtney Monroe and his Saber Light Dights training. Thank you very much, brother. And because of you, I'm also making this video. Okay, so this is important, mostly me. Might not be important to everyone else, but this is important to me because I am a man who counts my blessings. Thank you, Courtney. Okay, so I'm making this video about thanking you. I want to thank all my friends. I want to thank God for all the blessings I have, even when they don't seem like blessings. I want to say thank you. I suffer from PTSD. I suffer from bouts of depression. I suffer from the lack of actually living my life the way I wanted to live due to other people's poor choices bleeding into my life. I have moments where I got to keep it real with y'all because I'm also on Facebook and mostly because I'm on Facebook and I'm also on Comfort Having a Number 2 at the same time and I don't lie to my 39 slash 40 followers. When I get these moments, they aren't very easy to deal with. So I do find ways to pass time. I do find things to help me feel better. Um, sometimes I draw. This would be the Dear Women. I drew this today. And I also write a graphic novel. I'm working on my second one now. Because I do hit, like, really, really bad, bad bouts. And it's only gotten worse since my father had passed three years ago. And, you know, there's not always people that you can turn to. And only your real friends make you feel like you're wanted. All right? And for the most part of my life, I only feel wanted by some people. And to be honest with you, I love those people who want me to be around. A lot of other people, they just tolerate you. And if you don't realize the difference between being wanted and being tolerated, there's a disconnect. And um, one of my friends today with the Saber thing, Courtney, you know, he made me really feel wanted today. You know, and thank you, brother, because you really got me back out my shell. I haven't really been doing very well since my hip replacement, you know, mentally. Physically, I'm fine. Mentally, not so much. But, you know, when you don't feel wanted, when you don't feel loved, you, you have a disconnect. And I have had quite a disconnect. So... If you want to see the rest of this, you're going to have to go to Comfort Havoc number two because I'm pretty sure someone's going to screw this video up because I have my record lights on and someone here always screws that up. For those on Facebook watching though, if you know anybody who has this problem, there are hotlines that you can call. I do not have the link. I do not have the number because I have the military number and the link. But more importantly, I have these blessings called friends. And for you, if you don't know who your friends are, then you need to know who your friends are. I know who my friends are. I know who I can come to. One of them reached out to me today. He just popped up. Again, thank you, brother, for everything you did for me today. It's making me feel wanted is better than what I have been feeling for the last few years and months of my life. And, you know, it does pay to have friends that make you feel like you are wanted. I'm not going to use the word love. Because, you know, when it's a man thing and we're both straight, you know, you don't want to, like, use the word love. But I do love all my friends, men friends, girlfriends, all that. But mostly, and family. I got some special family members that do make me feel wanted, especially down to Smithfield, who reaches out to me every now and again. Y'all know who you are. And, you know, this is not easy because I'm being exceptionally open. And as an entertainer who has never been discovered, 
it's easier to be in front of the camera than it is to be behind it. But a lot of emotion goes into just living your life in general. And sometimes when you don't feel wanted and you don't have someone to turn to, count your blessings and remember your friends. Be seeing ya. Now, for everybody else here on Comfort Havoc number two, I'm going to continue. Um, shout out to the three people who were watching me on Facebook. And I'm going to post this there. You know, when you feel unwanted, when you felt unwanted all of your life, there is a level inside of you that sinks so deep that you can't express yourself and you can't tell people and you don't know what your next move is or your next step is. And I don't know how long I've been fighting depression. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it was post-military or pre-military or in the military. I know I've had many, many bouts of it. I have gotten help. And sometimes help isn't always enough. That's why I'm making this video so that you know help come in the smallest and unlikeliest of forms. All right? And you need to recognize it. You need to save yourself because you're really the only one who can. I drew the Dear Woman as a way of connecting to my Native American culture. Today I learned how to work a lightsaber thanks to my boy Courtney Monroe who's been doing quite well for three years, and you guys need to check him out here in Charlottesville. Fridays. Uh, find him on Facebook. That would be better for you. Courtney Monroe. <laughs> I'm really bad at pitching shit now. I used to be a really good salesman. But for me, I often feel more unwanted than wanted. And him reaching out to me made me realize, you know, I do have more than just my small circle of friends He's in one of my bigger circle of friends, and he um he really helped me out. You know, he's also been in a movie of mine, and webisode series rather that was stolen. But uh, as soon as I find the things, I'm going to try and re-edit the whole damn thing and put it back together. I have to find time. That's the problem. I have to find time. Um, going through some rough stuff with school, <laughs> so you know. The stress level is way up here because I'm like not sure I'm passing the class because I've been like fracking up tests left and right. I have to take a test this weekend. So I'm going to work tomorrow so I can dedicate my Sunday to studying and taking the test. I want to end this with this. You know, no matter how big the problems are here and here, remember those blessings that you have. Remember those friends and family members that make you feel like you want to be here. I have plenty of days and nights where I don't want to wake up the next day. I kid you not. This is not no bullshit to get more followers because, hey, I'm only going to get what I have. And now that I can actually train, I plan on doing more martial art videos. I just have to make the time. School's got me in an uproar and I'm trying not to fail. And like I said, I just got cleared to jog. So... I'm going to do that. Don't know when, but I'm going to do that. I could take a running buddy, preferably female and pretty, or a bunch of dudes. We can all go running, chilling, and talking about chicks and stuff, but watch the Me Too movement because we don't want to get fracked by that. But, um, yeah, I want to thank you. I want to thank every last one of my friends and my family members that have blessed me for making me feel like I not only am wanted, but deserve to be alive and be here. And that's not something that everybody has. It really isn't. It's not something that everybody gets in life. There are people who are in horrible shape. There are people in worse shape than me. I know it sounds really hard to believe that because I'm, if not the worst luck guy, I am the one of the most depressed people that I know. And... Depression is a more than one step process, you know. I did get help from Dr. Bishop. I do follow our plan when I have those moments. It has helped me with my graphic novel. It has um, helped me stop being scared to reach out to my friends when I need them. And you should be the same. One thing with my warrior ethos that I keep in mind about um, completing the mission as a soldier, they drilled that into my head. No. 
so my mission is not complete. If I'm not breathing, the mission is not complete. So I have to keep breathing to complete the mission. And then I follow the other word. I'm not going to send them on camera because you just don't know who's watching. And if somebody wants to be a terrorist, the easiest way to infiltrate is to learn shit about American military so that they can slide right in. And that has happened before. So we don't need any sleeper agents saying, oh, well, I learned this from James Williams Jr. at Kung Fu Havoc number two. No, you didn't. I want to say to all my friends, to all my fellow actors that was in my movies, first, I'm sorry for not being successful, to... Thank you for giving me your time and moments of your life to help me find me, to help me be successful. I'm not a superstar. I'm not as successful as I would like to be. I'm not a working actor. I am a working independent filmmaker. I just haven't had a project that I need to express myself. And for the last three years, I have been basically bedridden. Not literally, but basically bedridden because all the doctors and them said, no, 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 no. Not K-N-O-W, but N-O. Capital N, capital O, and 10,000 explanation points. You cannot train on any level outside of walking, farting, and front-leaning rest position. So, that has made me depressed too. Because Kung Fu has been my life. It's all I've known. It's all I've ever been good at. And now I'm starting from scratch all over again and not just with weapons weapons I've never stopped practicing weapons but I haven't been able to use my body today I found out I'm 44 years old like really feeling it now but that's because I haven't used these muscles before for three years so again thank you Courtney really thank you uh, I want to close on a good note you know we all have blessings most of us don't take these blessings to heart. And from this day forward, that's what we need to do. We need to count our blessings. We need to thank our blessings. And we need to, one, be aware of them. Be aware that you are blessed to be breathing. Because when people ask me, how am I doing? And I tell them the only honest answer I can. I tell them that I'm breathing. Because it's an honest answer. It's not a lie. I don't want to lie and say I'm doing good when I know that I'm not. But I'm not doing so bad either. I'm in that middle track. So if there's a fork going this way and this way, I'm right there in the middle. I'm that shade of gray. So I'm breathing. Breathing is a good thing. Especially if you only have one lung. Luckily for me, I have two. But breathing is a good thing. Sorry, that was a day pool moment. Thank you, Canada. As I close out, I want to tell all my friends, thank you. I love y'all for loving me, tolerating me, dealing with me, and more importantly, making me feel wanted. So thank you. Be seeing you.